Hello everyone. Good afternoon and a warm welcome to all. I am Sindhu Shri from App Tweak. Thank you for taking part in today's webinar, App Achievers Tools and Tactics for Success. A special thanks to our panelists and speakers who have made the time to share their expertise. It seems like only yesterday that we were gathered to honor the greatest achievements in the app marketing at a prominent app marketing conference on April 19, 2024. Today, we are hosting this exclusive webinar to bring those valuable insights and success stories from our award-winning teams directly to you. This session aims to equip you with knowledge to enhance your app's performance through practical tips, industry's best practices, and actionable insights. Our award winners included ASO Team of the Year, Games 24-7, Fastest Growing App, Insta Money by Lane Lane Club, App Marketing Team of the Year, Moonfrog, Re-engagement team of the year, Rapido. Campaign of the year, The Good Together Game. Joining us today from Games 24-7 are Associate Managers of SEO, Chetana Ja and Nitin. From .com Infoway, we have Kumar Esan Tangudarai, Head of Digital and Mobile Marketing. Let's begin with our first session with Games 24-7. Founded in 2012, Games 24-7 has been committed to delivering the best online drama experience Rummy Circle. It's not only one of the most played Rummy games, but also a platform where players can engage in online Rummy and win real cash prizes. With over five crore players, Rummy Circle dominates as one of the largest Rummy platforms in India. Rummy Circle's impressive growth each quarter is a result of finely tuned app strategies, positioning itself as a leader in both cash and casual Rummy games. The strategic ASO initiatives of the Rummy Circle have been to their driving success. Let's go a little deeper into this strategy and ask the team themselves to share their experience. Please welcome Nitana Ja and Nitin from 24 7. Hello, hey, everyone. Yeah. Hey, everyone. This is Chetna Ja from Games 24 7. I take care of SEO and ASO for Rummy Circle. I have been associated with Games 24-7 for the past six years. And yeah, so and many learning and would love to have insights with you guys. Uh, one minute, Chetana. I'm sure the voices are already built. Could you check your... Uh... Your mic is a bit echoing. Is it better now? I think so. It's comparatively better. Hello, Chaitana. Welcome to the app Achievers Tools and Tactics. Could you please introduce yourself to the team? Yeah, so am, I, uh, am I audible right now? Because I'm audible? Yeah. So, this is Chaitana Jha from Games 24 7. I take care of SEO and uh, ASO for Rummy Circle, and I have been in Games 24 7 from the past six years. I've seen both challenges and lots of learning, and would love to share some insights with everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chetna. Welcome to the webinar. Hello, Nitin. Uh, welcome to our webinar. Hello, everyone. I'm Nitin. Uh, so I have been with Games 24-7 since last three years. I mainly look after ASO and SEO for uh, our two offerings, Rummy Circle as well as My Learn Circle. Excited to speak with all. Thank you so much, Nitin. Thank you so much, Chetna. Welcome to, uh, wish, I wish you, uh, it's wonderful to have both of you with us today. Um, as I previously mentioned, Rummy Circle is one of the largest Rummy game platforms in India. Chetna, can you share the highlights of Rami Circle's growth journey for 2023? Yeah. For Rami Circle. Earlier on Play Store, uh, RNG games were not allowed. So we launched Rami Circle on 15th of October 2022. And it has just been 18 months for the app. And the app has received more than 10 million plus downloads. We are also number one app on Play Store for card category. 
and also for uh, rami specific search terms which has a very good volume on play store we are the best among all rami rmg apps it is being both challenging and we have also learned a lot during our journey because uh, when we were launched on play store so we have seen uh, there were uh, casual apps also along with rami apps so casual apps are the apps those who offer rami games for free you have to buy chips and then you can play a game there and cash app is like where you can play with cash so both the apps has a different offering and the sentiments for the users also for both the apps are different so it was kind of challenging also at the start but yeah it's great like journey has been amazing and we are currently at one of the top apps for rami on play store Thank you so much for this insight, Kevin. The significant growth from the early to till now is a result of your well thought out strategy, your meticulous experience, you know, its meticulous execution, and a deep understanding of where you are and who your competitors are and etc. And your willingness to constantly experiment with the team is also commendable. And considering this dynamic changes as you mentioned in the strategy, I'm curious to know more about how do changes in user behavior trends influence your ASO strategies? yeah so there are at times there are certain external factors also that influence your aso strategies so there can be various things going outside you know in the market and then it might impact your searches so user might at times you might have good volume for certain terms but due to some external factors you might at times feel a very low volume for those terms so what we do is like we keep a track of uh, the volume and we use good tools in the market like aptree it gives us a better understanding for competitive analysis and also to understand the volume and trends recent trends for the search terms so what we do we keep a track of the data and we do a proper analysis to understand what are the recent trends we also uh, look at our uh, console data because data is we, we always believe in data driven approach data is very important for us so we look at the data uh, in our uh, google play console which you get and then from uh, there we look at the conversion trend also so we have to make sure that the conversion are on track and it is improving because if you see certain uh, hiccups there then it gives you a trend like there might be some reason for which you know uh, there might be some changes and then you need to look and dig deep in Uh, and get into the better understanding that what might be wrong, whether there are certain external things that is happening in the market, and what you can change, how you can react as per the change. So looking at uh, all the factors, and uh, we make we implement certain changes, and then we plan our strategies based on that. So there are external factors which influence your ASO fa uh, factor because you change your title, description, and the keywords and everything because it might influence everything there, right? So that is one thing. Uh, other thing is like uh, what we do is we also take care of the reviews, and you know uh, you should continuously respond to your reviews and look at the reviews and also we we check the reviews also and look at the feedbacks also what we receive from our users. It is very important for our app. So uh, if there is a change in trend of reviews and if you're getting certain you know similar kind of feedback from your users. then again it can influence and have impact on your aso rankings and right so you just need to have a track of that and you need to understand what are the feedbacks you are getting from your users and then based on that you can plan a strategy or like you can just look at like if you can improve certain things in your app so if there is a improvement required you need to do that and if there is uh, something or uh, a certain information required for users right you can you can put it in your content or in your short description which might help your users on that front so that is another thing which can influence you know the aso thing and apart from these two things or uh, apart from these two uh, one is ratings and one is uh, conversion rate and then you also need to take care of your rankings and everything you know kind of that kind of thing so these are basically these are the things which i feel which influence your uh, uh, aso factors and being a mark uh, uh, marketing uh, individuals 
we also plan certain brand campaigns and all you know so you also need to make sure like whatever messaging you are uh, showing to your users you know at various communication channels through your ads through your campaigns and all that so you need to be aligned towards the creative and messaging you have it on play store also both should be aligned whatever you're saying outside in terms of your ads and all you should also have the similar kind of messaging on your play store so it will help your users on that front so these are the things which we need to take care and it it might influence your aso factor thank you chetna just reflecting on some of your answers you said that to monitor uh, the conversion rates and also to do a thorough review about all the user feedbacks that you are getting and aligning the branding campaigns with user search term also is the conversion rate is what you just shared with us regularly review your user feedback the search trend to adjust your aso strategy uh, for to this better align and conversion is what you said uh, turning on to a more analytical perspective about the aso strategy nitin um, what are the most important aso metrics to track every aso so from the aso perspective uh two of the most important metrics that we track on a uh, daily basis or weekly basis are ranking and that and the actual traffic in terms of ranking we not only track our own ranking but we also track our competitors ranking our goal at games 247 is to be uh, is to be better than our competitors obviously so <laughs> we track uh, so we track the rankings on on almost daily basis in terms of uh, uh, play store traffic we uh, we track uh, visitors and installs as well as conversion rates across all the channels uh, search explore as and ads to see uh, to see uh, how is the trend like and take decisions accordingly if if there are any downward trends and all Uh, thank you, Nitin. From what you just shared or described, it's clear that key actions like tracking your ranking for targeted keywords, monitoring your conversion rates, and also keeping an eye on your competitors, and also you know tracking, uh, adding technical aspects such as crash rates and NARs is very critical for your app health and user satisfaction. Uh, you know, you should keep a close eye on both performance metrics and user experiences indicators like crash rates to ensure your app remains competitive. Uh, with these metrics in mind, Nitin, uh, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of your ASO efforts? So, uh, as an organization, we believe in experimentation. So, whatever changes that we do on Play Store, we usually, uh, or not usually, almost all the time, we uh, we test those changes uh, on Play Store to see uh, to see the impact. And once a we see positive impact then only those changes get rolled out in production we also do time series uh, test uh, time series check to see whether the impact that we saw in the experiment phase was also can also be seen in production as well so uh, in the hypothetical situation uh, for example if you want to change the icon of uh, of the brand then we first develop an hypothesis like uh, since rummy circle is a card game uh, what would be the best possible icon for uh, for rummy circle so it should in- include card elements or it should have brand name so we also check what kind of icons do competitors have we also check the international brands real money game apps to see uh, Uh, to see what kind of icons that they are using, then based on that we build out an hypothesis like this should work. So we create test variations, and then uh, create the experiment strategy. And the result of that experimentation is usually a winning path, and that gets applied to the production. And after implementing it on production, we also do time series test to see. whether after implementing the icon whether it had it has a uh, impact on the next level metrics as well so after installing whether people go on to registration whether they actually play the game or uh, or not so that also get tested so yeah these are the things that we usually do okay 
uh, thank you so much. To summarize, you emphasize the importance of setting up the experiments to estimate the impact, the changes in the Play Store. It appears that like you know, before deploying the updates in production, you should follow some experimental or positive experimental results. This cautious approach ensures that the ASO tactics are both effective and data driven. Uh, thank you, Chaitana and Nathan, for sharing their, your expertise in ASO and app marketing strategies today with us. We have gained like valuable insights into monitoring the crucial metrics and adapting to user behavior trends for improving the app performance. Please remain with us until the end, as we'll be opening the floor for more questions uh, from our audience very shortly. So let's proceed with our next speaker for the day. Please join me in welcoming Kumar Asin from .com Infoway. Hello, Kumar. Uh, welcome to the App Achievers Tools and Tactics webinar. Could you please uh, tell us something about yourself? Yeah, sure. So uh, this is Kumar Asin, head in the mobile and digital marketing team here at .com Infoway. So uh, we are having around like 10 plus years experience uh, in promoting mobile, mobile apps, uh, right from um, data analysis, ISO, uh, to uh, monetization strategies. So personally, I had like privilege of working with uh, over uh, 50 plus clients and uh, 100 apps worldwide. Um, so like uh, it's my pleasure to uh, share here as a panelist and share my insights here. Thank you so much, Kumar. Welcome uh, to the webinar. Before we dive into our next discussion, I'd like to provide a bit of background on the Good Together game. This innovative app is designed to strengthen your relationships through meaningful connections with family, friends, partners, and colleagues. It's not just a game. It's a relationship enhancer packed with fun and interactive experiences that everyone appreciates. Since its launch, the Good Together game has rapidly grown, acquiring more than 30,000 active users in a short period, largely due to its effective promotion on Google Ads starting in 2022. Kumar Asin, can you share with us the highlights of the Good Together's game growth journey for 2023? Sure. Uh, the Good Together game is one of the simple uh, way to understand your uh, uh, relationship strength with friends, families, or uh, partners. Um, so one of the key challenges uh, that we have faced while launching this game uh, is to moderate with the uh, operated moderate budget uh, in the US region uh, where CP will be generally high. Uh, so we need to uh, acquire users at the optimal uh, CPA rate. Also the app's unique concept uh, poses further challenges uh, because if the app concept is new, uh, the platform like Google UAC will take more time uh, to understand your audience and provide results. So during this time, uh, generally your CPA will be on higher side. Also, uh, the volume of installs must, might be lower than expected. So we have implemented the following strategies to speed up process. Um, initially, uh, we have provided a very few ad copies uh, to initiate the campaign. Um, uh, that is a saying that uh, we need to add as much content we can to improve the impressions. Uh, but the problem here is uh, if the account is new and if you're adding more content, uh, Google will take more time to analyze the right variation for you and giving you the right data. Uh, and it might take uh, even a month for few apps. So we have uh, like proceeded the campaign with uh, basic items uh, along with uh, two videos and images. So while doing this, uh, you need to make sure that uh, all your ad text uh, copies, uh, maybe images or videos should be more relevant to each other within the respective ad group. Uh, because as Google uh, relying on uh, machine learning, uh, it will uh, you pair and use the content combinations in random manner. Uh, for example, it might show uh, video one plus headline two in one ad. Uh, in another one, it might show like video two plus headline uh, two, something like that. Um, so regardless of how Google is showing your ads, your ads should convey the um, right item to the users. So consider in this case, uh, if the headline one is related to the partner relationship and if a video showcases the family relationship, so it won't be right. Uh, so it might confuse the users. So you need to uh, like have the proper uh, content in place that should align each other uh, within the respective ad group. Um, also, we generally make sure that uh, our optimization scores would be um, above 95 percentage. Um, uh, this, this might be like it involves uh, having the right transparency uh, between your ads and the Google Play Store page, uh, which 
will lead to improved conversion rate, uh, which is one of the crucial factor for optimization score. So like uh, by adding, like uh, implementing those strategies, uh, we can able to see the high volume of numbers in quick span of time, like where we have acquired uh, acquire around like 50K uh, active users in one month of time with the optimal CPE of around like 15 cents in US region. Um, so once the campaign has started performing, uh, we can add more creatives to experiment. Um, so the, the um, key item here is, so we need to understand from which network we are receiving more conversions from. For example, for certain campaigns, you might uh, receive uh, more conversions from a search uh, network or some campaigns you might receive from YouTube network. So uh, based on that, you need to uh, like provide priority to the uh, content material and implement accordingly. Um, indeed, it was a well thought out strategy. Thank you for your detailed explanation for us. Uh, finding your target audience takes time and precision, as you just mentioned. Your detailed attention to each element of your campaign, I'm sure it made it increasingly relevant to all of your users. Uh, thank you for those insights, Kumar. Uh, now let's explore the initial steps in a launch. What are some of the strategies for marketing and promoting a newly developed mobile application? So generally, um, don't rush for high volume of installs in the initial stage. Um, just try to understand the market um, and like how users are reacting uh, to your uh, ad content or uh, within the app itself. Uh, so this can be done uh, by running the uh, pilot campaign, uh, like having um, like certain amount of budget for pilot campaign uh, and running the campaign to understand the market. So during this time, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you are having the uh, right uh, tools uh, with your app, uh, especially attribution and analytics tool. Um, so try to figure out which ad network uh, brings you more quality users in terms of uh, retention and user activity. Um, also gather more insights uh, within the app uh, in terms of user journey, uh, right from top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. For example, uh, if you find that uh, users are churning more uh, between the install and the final stage. You need to ensure that like uh, you are enhancing your onboarding process. Um, also uh, ensure that uh, you are having the separate budget for brand campaigns uh, along apart from the install campaigns because people uh, who interacted your brand related ads or uh, branding earlier are more likely to install your app. Uh, reflecting on what you just shared with us, uh, you just told understanding the user is the most crucial aspect of this entire la launching the new mobile application. It's evident from uh, your response that analyzing every bit of the user activity and where they are from, which channel is like key to formulating all the successful strategies. Uh, speaking of strategies, budgeting is the most important and essential part of marketing. So what are some of the key considerations when setting a budget for a mobile app ad campaign and how should one start? Well, uh, it totally uh, depends upon your app category and the country that you are going to target. It generally varies actually. Uh, if you are going to target US, uh, the budget that you have uh, allocated for the uh, like uh, app regions like India won't be enough actually. Um, so you need to uh, like understand the approximate uh, KPA estimate of uh, like uh, respective regions. Uh, it might be like a cost per installs or cost per acquisition or even uh, cost per uh, paying users. Uh, so based on that, uh, you need to uh, calculate your budget. For example, uh, if you're having the KPA of acquiring like uh, 100 signups or 1,000 signups or 10,000 signups within the month, you need to uh, allocate your budget accordingly. It may be like uh, you need to calculate in the basis of cost per install and uh, what it will uh, have in terms of cost per registration. It may be like 5x uh, into the cost per install. So we need to have those calculations in our head uh, before allocating the budget. Um, also, as I mentioned, like uh, it depends upon the ad network too. Uh, for example, if it's a gaming app, uh, you need to choose network which provides uh, uh, more visibility in terms of video like app loving iron source and so on that the uh, the cost per acquisition and installs might differ actually um so like whatever the campaigns you're on, running and like uh, like which ad network you are choosing uh try to initiate the campaign with uh, open bitrate uh, because uh, having the uh, fixed bitrate initially uh, will uh, restrict uh, your uh, ad account or campaign um like uh, uh, to uh, miss more opportunities. 
that was quite informative uh, to summarize uh, what you just said you told us understanding each region's kpi to define the budget is very vital uh, it's important to do your research understand where they are from and understand each region's kpis before allocating the resources so considering the advancements in the technology how was ai and machine learning revolutionizing the mobile app advertising and what should we expect in the near future so there are both uh, pros and cons uh, here uh, on the brighter side uh, ai tools helps us analyze more data than before uh, for example uh, when it comes to uh, aso uh, we can utilize uh, tools like app uh, to understand like where our uh, competitors are ranking for uh, what keywords they are ranking and what kind of digital assets are looking for them and we can implement them in our app also with tools like market intelligence uh, we can able to understand what kind of ads they are running on also like uh, uh, where they are having more revenue um, uh, in terms of uh, countries and so so these data are more essential uh, for launching the new app so in the bleaker side uh, ai is still in the learning stage so its effectiveness can vary so let us uh, share the example between the facebook installed campaign uh, with google uac campaign where in facebook we can able to do the uh, manual targeting uh, but in google is totally depends upon uh, machine learning uh, for the targeting so uh, for one of the um, uh, like mental health related app which we worked on uh, we have uh, seen that cpa is higher on the facebook our user intentions are better there um, uh, where we have uh, seen good retention rate uh, from the users coming from facebook because we know that like we are targeting the right users with detailed targeting and we are using the respective ad copies to target them however uh, in google uh, though the cpa was low uh, initially uh, we uh, faced challenge to acquire the right users uh, as google are relying on machine uh, for the targeting and ad prioritization it needs more time and data to provide us uh, with optimal result so during this time Uh, human inputs are more crucial for them so in future uh, ai tools uh, will assist us in, with more recommendations or implementations but still it require solid human prompt and inputs uh, to improve its effectiveness in the right way uh, that's very fascinating as you just shared uh, ai tools does actually enhance aso but uh, we're not that very near to that Uh, the role of machine learning in mobile app advertising is becoming essentially important as each day passes and as you said human prompts is more important in this growing technology field uh, expanding on that particular thought uh, how can insights gained from aso activities be used to refine targeting in paid advertising campaign so um, really organic data uh, will help us to provide um, uh, more details on user intentions uh, for example Uh, you need to analyze uh, the keywords that bring in you more uh, impressions or conversions so this h- helps us to understand uh, what users are exactly uh, looking for in our app or even in the app store page or play store page uh, that leads to more conversion for example uh, we have uh, worked on the app a gaming app which is related to the battlefield um, so earlier in our ad creatives uh, we have uh, focused uh, more on the app uh, Uh, categories like a uh, concept like that match uh, single player versus player game and so on uh, where we have seen the more conversion with that approach uh, however while analyzing the organic data uh, we have seen that uh, we are receiving more impressions for keyword fps footers uh, and we are also receiving more conversions for it so we have try implementing the uh, term and the themes related to it across our ad copies and based on that uh, we can we have been able to see human to the conversion so uh, it's interesting that like a uh, uh, like uh, uh, the single piece of aso data uh, which is more vital if we utilize them across our multiple channels thank you kumar uh, due to some low network issues we're not able to see you would you like to join us again um, can, you, can you able to hear me yes we can hear you very clearly but we're not able to see you okay yes i think it's correct now uh, okay yes 
uh, your expertise like really speaks volumes when you share uh, about the practical applications of uh, these strategies. And thank you so much for your profound insights. And just to summarize today, what all we have discussed or explored is some of the crucial strategies and techniques that underscore the importance of understanding your user behavior and optimizing app performance and innovatively engaging with the market through AI and targeted advertising. Your experience and success you have shared with us are incredibly valuable of us seeking to enhance our app marketing strategies. Uh, I'm truly grateful for both of all the speakers that have joined us today for sharing their expertise and also for demonstrating how thoughtful and data-driven approaches can lead to significant improvements in the app engagement and growth. At this point, I would like to open the floor for questions to the audience. And uh, please feel free to ask anything that can help you expand your thoughts upon this topic that we have discussed today. And I have a quite a uh, few questions from the audience. Um, the first question is, um, yes, what should I keep in mind when competing with big brands if I'm a small app? Um, so, like, you need to uh, keep focusing on your app quality uh, and the USP, uh, like, that you are uh, providing, uh, which your competitor having. Uh, so, before uh, doing that, uh, you need to understand and analyze the data of what your competitors are doing and also uh, like uh, what are the gaps uh, that they are like having in terms of uh, uh, filling the users uh, satisfaction so for example uh, simplest way to find that is that like you can uh, analyze or read the reviews that you that receive for the competitor apps uh, so like you can uh, find the users uh, complement there also users complaint there so based on that you can understand like uh, where they are lagging and you need to try implementing that uh, within your app. And also you can have it as key USP and like you can convey that in marketing materials too. So this kind of things like uh, we can do uh, to like uh, overshadow our competitor because ads, as it's a digital space, uh, so like we can able to uh, reach users from our end to what are all like our competitors are doing. So these are the simple ways uh, that we can be able to um, understand our competitors' performance and like act accordingly. Thank you so much, Kumar. Um, moving on to our next question is, uh, how would your strategy change for ASO for practice and real money games? So practice games are the games that uh, that can be played with chips. And then at certain stage, you you reach and you purchase certain chips and then you proceed in the game, right? So it is completely a free game. And uh, the users of, you know, who would go with that game is kind of different type of users. And cash game is where the user is willing to pay certain amount, deposit certain amount, and then play games and win rewards and cash from that game. So both the users have a different uh, interest towards the game. So there can be user A, type of user A, who's interested in free game, and there can be user B, who can be interested in cash game. So our strategy would be like, if you're targeting the casual users, right? For the terms like, for example, if you're using the casual terms like Rummy. So Rummy doesn't give you a clear indication whether it is, it is you know, the user is looking for cash game or the user is looking for free game, right? So we can test, we can create a custom store uh, listing for that. And you can just test like how it is working for that term. Because we have recently got, you know, a feature in Google uh, Google Play Store where you can create custom store listing based on keywords also. So you can optimize and you can create a casual kind of custom store listing and do a test for your casual terms. And similarly, you can do for the cash terms as well. So experiment always, always helps. So that way you can plan your strategy for other games as well. And it might help, yeah. Thank you so much, Jayma. Thank you for your answer. So the next question is, do we plan a budget based on installs we need or we plan the budget based on impressions we want to drive? The question is, do we plan a budget based on installs we need or we plan a budget based on impressions we want to drive? Um, so like uh, it depends upon the uh, like app on your uh, exact requirements. Um, so like uh, 
uh, based on our experience uh, is better to uh, proceed with uh, budget for installs uh, rather than going with impressions um, uh, because for example uh, i'll say this example uh, even if you are running the uh, general branding campaign on facebook uh, like uh, by having the uh, impression uh, as your uh, uh, cost of action um, so like you might won't receive installs um, well comparing to the install campaigns and this is because generally the ad platforms will target users uh, who generally like to view the ad rather than taking the action so if you run the install campaigns in platform you generally target the users who had done the respective activities earlier uh, so we might have more chance of receiving installs so it's always better to go with install campaigns rather than impressions but if your target is more towards branding uh, for example like uh, if it's a fantasy game or something like that uh, where recently like uh, ipl happened and more ads has been like uh, uh, shown via the zio app uh, where you can see that like mo most of the ads are the impression based ads uh, so the impression based ads uh, we can't able to guarantee the clicks or the uh, installs uh, but still it will like uh, helps us on improve the branding so it totally depends upon requirements and uh, like what we exactly need users to take action based on that definitely it, it totally depends upon what action you want the user to take and accordingly set the campaigns and uh, right. to achieve those desired goals uh, we have a very interesting question that is a lot of spammy reviews like referral code related how to deal with them and how to tackle and how to remove it uh, so i'll repeat the question uh, a lot of spammy reviews like referral code related how to deal with them how to tackle and how to remove it who would like to take this question um actually we have a dedicated team orm team who looks after 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 this but uh what we usually do is we can uh um uh, we can basically find if there is any pattern that we see uh using app tweak if there are certain keywords that we see on repeated basis and we report it to our orm team and usually they take action usually it's based on pattern if we see same uh, same code appearing multiple times then we usually flag it to our orm team okay thank you nitin and the next question is how have you leveraged your promotional content what's the average reach and conversion you are seeing there the question is how have you leveraged your promotional content what's the average reach and conversion you are seeing there so it's bit of a confidential information so we can't share uh, but what we can share is we use promotional content uh, on uh, for for some of our initiatives and we have seen some results but we will not be able to share the actual information okay <laughs> thank you nitin completely can completely understand that uh, another question that uh, is interesting is how are you incorporating your off page and on page activities in aso do you think that off page activities impact rankings and what is your strategy the question is how you are incorporating off page and on page activities in aso do you think that off page Im activities impact rankings and what is your strategy uh again uh, it would be a bit confidential to share uh we uh, we do all of it uh but uh, it would not be correct to share them back and also yeah, so yeah, yeah also, we see the impact but it's kind of difficult to measure the impact of, of especially of the off page because the metrics are not visible uh, like you don't see the impact immediately so we you cannot basically attribute the uh, the impact to to the change that you have done especially off page okay uh, thank you nitin and another question for rami circle is how android vitals and app size impacted on your ranking and aso strategy uh, how does android vitals and app size impact your ranking and aso strategy sorry we can't share this information <laughs> no problem uh, feel free to if anybody has any other questions please feel free to share in the chat and uh, 
until then if you have any if you would like to connect with the aptwick team and talk to us and understand how to proceed forward or how exactly we can help you please feel free to schedule a call with us and the link has been shared in the chat with you guys and until then i would like to request uh, uh, kumar Asen, would you have would you like to share any quick hacks or tips uh, for the fellow app marketers from your end yeah, sure. So uh, while running campaigns or any promotional activities, uh, we need to make sure that uh, uh, we are tracking uh, every piece of data uh, because even small uh, patterns like impressions or conversion rate uh, will have a significant impact uh, in your app success. So based on uh, my experience, I see most of the app owners are, are rushing for the uh, install volumes uh, without having the uh, uh, proper uh, feasibility for uh, technical aspect uh, to analyze the post install KPI data, so which leads to uh, poor KPI uh, and they eventually uh, stop spending budget on the campaigns. Um, so both marketing and uh, development uh, like uh, should be uh, like working parallel in app ecosystem, uh, uh, like uh, leveraging and utilizing the uh, data driven uh, items uh, both on and off app. Uh, to ensure that uh, like uh, they are delivering the uh, right value that users are looking for. Thank you so much, Kumaris. And definitely the developer and the team has to work parallel with each other and not against each other to achieve whatever goals or desires that we have set for ourselves to achieve as a team. And uh, my next question too is the team from Games247. Would you like to share any quick tips or hacks for the fellow app marketers and enable them to do better, achieve their goals, and how to you know, proceed forward in their uh, journey? Um, so one thing that I would want to share is whenever you set up any experiment, uh, don't set up the experiments just based on your gut feeling or you just see that uh, your competitor is doing it. Uh, do it from first principles understand what your app is about what are its usps and then develop an hypothesis and then create the experiment uh, one thing that you can always do is set up a kind of a a test where you test the control vari variant control with the same uh, with the same so that there is so that you understand there is no bias in your uh, in your both test cases so yeah this is something that i would like to share that i wanted to share thank you so much Nathan. definitely we should experiment as much as possible before we go ahead and uh, share or go into production directly thank you so much for your uh, inputs as we conclude today's webinar uh, i extend a heartfelt thank you to our uh, panelists our speakers especially Kumari Sin, Chetana, and Nitin for joining us today and also for giving your insightful contributions for this particular webinar. And for and thanks to the audience who have actively uh, interacted with us and made this webinar even more uh, important and uh, engaging. I also appreciate our dedicated team and thanks to Karin for all engaging with all our uh, audience team members and sharing information with us. And we look forward uh, to exploring more innovative topics with you in the future. And thank you, thank you so much for all of them who've joined us today and made this possible. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. If anyone wants to interact with the Afterweek team, please feel free to connect with us on the link. And we have shared the link on the chat. And you can schedule the calls with us. Or if you feel to have any more questions for the team, feel free to ask them or share them with us. And we should be able to talk to them.